What's up guys, WSC Stage Creator back again with another video and today I'll be giving you the 2024 WWE Figure Room Tour. So as we come into the studio here, we got the figure shelved collection and we got where all the action happens, the WSC Arena. Now, quite a bit has changed since the last time you've seen this in a figure room tour. We've got brand new graphics for the ring, for the stage, and I'll get into all the reasons why. So the WSC Multiverse just ended. There was a lot of colors. There was a lot of blue, orange, very bright, vibrant colors. Seeing WWE, they changed their graphics to like all black with logos. And it made me realize that my stuff was a little too vibrant, a little too colorful, and it took away from the action inside of the ring. It was a little bit of an eyesore. I like the vibrant colors and stuff for special occasions, but I think for, you know, the week to week stuff and the stuff I'm going to be posting very regularly I think less vibrant colors some darker colors will be much better so that's what we got going on here and I think it looks a lot better for branding and makes the logo stand out a lot more and it just looks super clean I really like the look of it these are the extreme sets barricades that you get with the arena pop-up and I just customized them and put my logos on them and reshaped them a little bit. Then we have the ring which is the Attitude Era ring that came with Kane from Ringside Collectibles customized with my own graphics. We got the WSC logo ring skirts which are really really nice and we have some customized kind of turnbuckles. They're two turnbuckles put together with some tape on it so you get some more room here on the apron. It's a little too much room but I think it's better than less room Room, so that's cool. One of the biggest changes here is the turnbuckles, which last time it had some stickers on it. Uh, we wanted to have our own logos on the turnbuckles, and at the time we thought that was the only option, put some stickers on it, but it kept peeling off and getting damaged. So the best thing to do was to acetone the logos off the original turnbuckles you get with the rings, and then get some paper, print out your logos, and then glue them onto the turnbuckle, and I think it came out pretty good. The new addition I'm really excited about are these 3D printed ring post colors for the LED ring posts. Now, I had my own custom cardboard ones, that we used to use for a while, but I teamed up with Wrestlistic. I said, you know, I want some legit stuff. I want some actually 3D printed, not some cardboard kind of flimsy stuff. So we worked together and designed these, and these are super nice. They slide right onto the ring. You can take off the graphics just like WWE does and put your own stickers on there. And it is really, really cool. So really happy to have that. You can get them from Wrestlistic.com. He'll design them for you. You can get him to design your own graphics and put them on just like mine. Speaking of the great Wrestlistic, you can get your crowd printout from Wrestlistic.com. And this is a super nice crowd. I love the blue and the red. And, you know, we probably should change the crowd backdrop considering all this has changed. But I think it looks really nice. And to be honest, it, it is such a hassle to change this. It's on this, like, big cardboard thing and yeah it's just so hard to get something that big onto the table we're going to be moving to a different place next year anyway so that'll probably be the perfect time to change it but i was thinking we have so many figures right all these figures and they're overflowing and we'll get to the figure shelf collection a little later in the video but i was thinking what if instead of the crowd backdrop it's just all figures that would be really cool. I'm considering doing that. Let me know if you think that's a good idea down below. On the last room tour, and if you've seen any of my videos, we have the crowd lights for the fireflies. Unfortunately, Bray Wyatt passed away, so I didn't get to do like a Bray Wyatt firefly entrance, but it's really cool. It has all these lighting cues, and we got as many figures as we can fit in here. I want a bigger table, and one day we will get a bigger table to fit more figures and whatnot. We have these 3D printed barricades for the ramp accurate to real life. Looks really nice. I had lights on them before, but I decided, you know, we got too much lighting around, so it's not necessary, especially when the ramp is elevated. So I took the lights off there. We got some new stage graphics and color cues. These used to be blue, now they're red, and they can do all sorts of color variations and all sorts of cool stuff for entrances, which you've probably seen in my videos. We got the reflective black paper here, which looks really nice, reflects 
all the stuff off the screen here and this is one of the biggest additions to the arena I don't think I've spoken about it since I got it last year after the room tour last year and this is a Samsung Odyssey Arc it is a curved gaming monitor it is very costly I wanted something different everybody's got a TV screen nowadays as soon as I saw this I thought wow I have to have that that's super accurate to real life I gotta cop this and the thing about it is I would change the stage up and do different variations but this thing is 60 kilos 135 pounds and yeah I, I ain't moving that that's so much of a hassle plus it's super expensive got to get the most out of it as well I have a little Titan Tron thing I've got all these different Titan Trons for people like example got CM Punk's Titan Tron here and yeah you can do all sorts of cool entrances I was thinking it would be cool to do like a little stage with all the fans behind maybe one day we'll get to do that but for now I think this works really well we're gonna get the most out of this it can actually raise up as well the thing is I would want it super low just like WWE had it but this is as high as it goes it's as low as it goes and you can elevate it higher and lower you can also spin it around too but I don't think I could get the graphics to spin around like that. So yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. If I was to set this whole thing up again, I would get a little table under this table, and then I would set this on there, and then I would have this like level to the floor. So it'd be more realistic to WWE, but it'd be way too much of a hassle. I'd have to take off the whole crowd and move everything. And I think it's fine how it is. And it's cool that it's an elevated ramp. You can do stuff off the stage and it's easier for me to film because this, these guys get in the way of my filming all the time. I have to move them so I don't knock them over because they, they are just so prone to knocking over. But it looks much more realistic having the fans here. So don't worry too much about it. Then we got the starlight in the background. I like having similar version to WWE even though, you know, I could make my own stage. It's more so about the production, I think this with the lights and the stage it just looks epic and i'm pretty happy with it we have the ringside area with our customized logo referees timekeepers area with the ring bell and then we have me and danny chilling a commentary i used to have all these papers and uh, water bottles on there which looks more realistic but it's such a hassle when you're slamming figures on there and you're taking like 50 tries to do it and you got to set everything up again so i think just having nothing on the table besides the monitors i think that's the best way to go before we move on from the table setup there's one more thing i want to show you and that's these chromed up steel steps from figures toy company really realistic shine to it all i just wish that these weren't so low it's hard for them to grasp onto it it should be a little bit higher but it is super nice really liking that now that we've taken a look at the figure arena the table setup let's take a look at what's under the table we are under the table now let's take a look at what we got we got the steel cage for the authentic scale ring we got two hell in a cells there's two sizes of hell in a cells actually jacks made a medium one and a large one and i have both of them and we have the elimination chamber here love this elimination chamber playset even though it is tiny mattel really needs to make some more play sets like that we have the elite scale ring we have the old main event smackdown ring all packed up we have two new generation rings packed up back there and the aew ring packed up there too and behind all that is the aew stage which we have never taken out of the box i have some tripods here i use these a lot when filming we have this large one here which is really good really sturdy but it came crooked at the top here so it's a little annoying we have our smoke machine. I usually set that on top of here because the stage is large, so it has to be elevated higher. We have more Hell in a Cell pieces for both sizes. We have the War Zone, which I'd love to take out and do another War Zone match. We have the shark cages there. Got a basic AW ring. Got a lot of uh, ring skirts and all that sort of stuff packed up here. Ring ropes. We got the Raw Main Event ring back there more hell in a cell pieces steel cage war games pieces the little rings for war games then we got like a multiverse box with a bunch of bummy figures and just multiversal madness down here you know you got fat man all the horror figures and stuff we had king kong we were gonna do something with king kong and ant-man and stuff all sorts of cool stuff there then we have the drawers here now all these scissors and 
Stanley knife and pens and blue tack double sided tape all the good stuff that you need when making stages and whatnot and stuff for your arena we have all these printouts for the stage this is the reflective board we have this pack of crowd signs we don't usually like to repeat use of the crowd signs so i just kind of put them in there got some of our autographs that used to be on the wall just more printouts and all that kind of stuff got some lights there and then at the bottom here we have our ladder drawer which mattel needs to release more big ladders because they haven't released them in like 10 years, it's crazy. Over here we have a lot of our WSC figures that we use a lot for filming. All sorts of good figures in here that I need easy access to. We have our flashing light, but now we don't use this as much. We've got these, which these kind of, we had this and like floodlights as well. And they were super annoying because they weren't elevated in the air. So I would have to hold them with my hand. These are really nice. They're colored lights and with a tripod now. So you can elevate them. They can shine on the crowd. It's a much easier process than it was before. We have these, which is our coordinated, you know, Brock Lesnar heads, Roman Reigns. All different characters have their own drawers with their hands and heads so I can easily access them. I usually take out their drawers and put them onto the table and then just take from there. Down here we have some figure clothing. We got some Judgment Day stuff here. PWR Lucha comes through with these and all sorts of stuff in here. We got, you know, some CM Punk stuff that kind of might stain the figures with AW, you'd never know. Some Cody Rhodes stuff here, some laser lights there, some tripods and stuff like that. Then we have something that I get asked about a lot. It is, what do you use for fake blood? This is the brand of fake blood I use. I've had this since like, I don't know, 2016 or something. It's lasted me so long. So yeah, fake blood, that's what I use. Then we have the extreme sets, backstage pop-ups, and we got the locker room down there. We got our mics that we use for the laptop and stuff. I'm usually using the mic that I have attached to my phone right now for my videos. This is a real interesting insider stuff for people who like to film action figure matches. So these are little stands that I've made. And basically they're all sorts of stands that are attached to a board. So if I want two figures to move, I just attach them to these stands and I like slide them along. So these are very helpful for filming multiple figures at once. Then on top of the table, I use this table to film backstage segments and stuff. Sometimes I put my laptop on here and you know do my editing and whatnot usually i do it in a different room but we have the backstage like grill position here that just permanently stays there we have the royal rumble ring skirts and the custom ring post made by wrestlistic link in description if you want to get some ring posts for yourself recently we got a new phone we actually filmed with this. this is an iphone 11 because the phone i'm filming with now it's a iPhone 14 or something. Yeah, 14 Pro Max. And it is, when you're filming figures close up, it just like the shallow depth of field makes it all blurry in the background. And it just doesn't work as well. Even though it's a super high quality camera, I much prefer the iPhone 11 for filming. When I'm filming figure matches, I'm usually parked up in this chair here. This is a gaming chair. And yeah, it's very comfortable. Really nice adjustable arms there. Got some pillows, neck and back. We have the subscriber plaque of 100,000 subscribers. Then we got a WWE calendar. My boy Austin Theory just so happens to be the month of June. Now the last thing for under the tables is this drawer right here. On top of the drawer, I use a lot of blue tack with filming. So this just permanently stays there. We got all sorts of like things like elastics so I can attach figures to each other and hang them and stuff. We have these little strings, contraptions that I've used where you hold this and you hold the figures up with this string. We have this I clean the camera lens with, figure stands. We use these barricades to put under the tripods to elevate it to the ring. Then we got our drawer of hands, which we don't really use as much because we got the other drawers. But yeah, this is kind of messy and it's a little annoying to sort through these and try and find the hands that you want. I used to label them as well. Sometimes the blue tack actually damages the hands, so it might not be a good idea. And yeah, we got these, all these heads and interchangeable body parts, Alistair Black, Cody Rhodes, 
all sorts of good stuff in here. Then this is our table drawer, all sorts of different tables and stuff. And we got a lot of announcers table stuff, so all different announcers tables. We've got the rat traps in here. We got, you know, the notes and the water bottles I was talking about before. Some referee shirts, WSC staff shirts. Then the next drawer we have is the weapons drawer, if I can open it, because it's filled up with a, a ton of stuff. We've got chairs, all the things you could think of, barbed wire chairs. God damn, uh, what are you doing, man? All right, we got the stretcher, it was getting hung up. Got the Stardust ladder. We got the Cody Rhodes, cowbell, kendo sticks, thumbtacks, you name it. We pretty much got it all in here. So now we're moving on from this portion of the room. Now let's move over to the figure collection and the closet. First off, we got the refugees here because the shelves are overflowing. I have no room for more figures, yet I continue to buy stuff. And yeah, they're just the refugees. We got Jacob Fatu there. We got Orange Cassidy, Brock Lesnar. All sorts of good figures that I don't want to put in the box that's in the closet of figures, which you'll see in a minute uh, because I don't want them damaged or anything like that. Then we got some more refugees over here. We got Stage Creator. We got the ultimate Seths, few accessories too that are just hanging down here. Under here we have some paints and stuff. When I feel like painting some figures, even though I'm not qualified to do so, I get into the acrylic paints. We have some textures. Back in my stage making days, I would like draw stuff by hand. So that's why they're there. I almost forgot that I had this in here. This is more interchangeables. So many interchangeable heads and stuff a lot of fiend stuff a lot of roman reigns got the old stage creator mullet heads from my mullet days then we have the accessories box all sorts of good stuff figure clothing all the things you could think of that just have nowhere to go you just got to put them in here and yeah just a ton of figure clothing ton of miscellaneous things and yeah, just too much to sort through, so I'll stick that back under here, and now we'll get into the figure shelved collection. So I rearranged it a little bit, I took the Attitude Era figures and put them down there, and made more of my current era, you know, what I grew up with, I guess, up here, and yeah, so let's start from the top. We have all the old school Legends figures, now I'm not as much of a collector these days, anymore as I uh, used to be because I'm more about getting stuff that I need to film with but sometimes I'm tempted to, to get some stuff and we have this era of wrestling I should start down this end 2010 to 2014 kind of coordinated it to be in timeline order there then we go down 2014 to 2016 a lot of good figures in here then we go down to 2017 to 2020 lots of good stuff 2020 to about 2022 and these front row figures are usually like my favorites so I usually put them at the front or the most representative of the time period got the attitude era shelf here and then a little bit more of current day. Got the custom Roman Reigns from WrestleMania. Stage creator Cobra Kai gear. Bunch of current day wrestlers there. And now that we've taken a look at the shelved collection. Which I need more shelves. Or I'm going to use some of these figures and put them in the crowd. To make a huge crowd. Now let's take a look at the closet. Which we have even more figures. Some really nice figures in here, just nowhere to put them right now, so I put them in here, but yeah, I need more shelves, or I need more room to put them in the crowd, and yeah, they, they just need a home. They just need a home for sure. Then we got a little baggie of championships, and yeah, this is pretty sweet. You know, ideally I would like to display them with the figures, but man, I have so many titles. But we actually got to look inside this baggie here. We got some steel steps, got ladders, and we got like 50 chairs deep inside this bag here. 
can't really get in there and show all of you, but trust me, there's like a ton of chairs. I remember I did a TLC stage back in the day where I hung like, I bought 40 chairs off ringside and like hung them from the ceiling. We have this. These are foil trays. These are how I make my trash cans these days, if you're very interested in how I do that. These are the trash cans. You cut it out and you make a circle out of it and then you do a circle at the bottom, tape it all together. And you can have this squashed effect at the end. Might as well show this portion while we're at it. We have these production crates and stuff. The fake grass, which we use for the Buried Alive playset. We have a bunch of like legit barbed wire here and the spike boards too. The WSC logo spike board. Pretty nasty stuff there that will mess up your figures, but it looks real cool. This back here is the base of an AEW figure ring. We have these things here. These are used for the Deadly Games. We have the authentic scale stage pop-ups from back in the day. The OGs will remember the WSC logo from the 2020 days of the stage. We have all sorts of stuff here, the Buried Alive playset there. We have the old ring posts that we used to use. These are also from WrestleListic, these ring posts, but they didn't fit the ring, so I got like nowhere to put them. Ton of papers and cardboards and stuff like that. A lot of extreme set stuff here. So we have the steps here, which comes with, I think, the train playset. A shipping container. Inside here is like Triple H's throne. Never gotten to use that yet. We have an ambulance. We have all sorts of just boxes and stuff there. Down here we have the barricades from Ringside Collectibles. In here we got the Cracker Barrel thing and we've got a bunch of ring accessories in here. We got steel steps, wheelchairs and stuff. Same in here. And then we got a bunch of heads and fodder for customs in there. Here, this is a pretty funny thing. This is a head harness, which I tried to use for the Deadly Games. Because the Deadly Games so high up, I tried with a head harness tripod. Safe to say it didn't work and it looked pretty funny. And in here we have our glass stuff. So broken glass, glass panes, all that stuff in there. So now we're done with the lower portion. Let's take a look at what's on top. We have a bunch of vehicles and stuff. So we have our ambulance. We have the big limo back there. And oh my God. We have the motorcycles. We have our police car right there we have a bunch of barricades and then a bunch of rubber accessories like the shirts and stuff jackets all in there we have our couches here some backstage couches we have the custom production truck back there and whatever mattel called this the reckon truck i don't know what they called it up here we've got our cars these cars are really cool so i had to get doubles of them because i use them all the time and they'll probably get wrecked we have that four-wheeler back there we have the tank that we use for war zone we have a garbage truck all the way back there we got the barbed wire beds got the forklift which is very short that's unfortunate. We have those ring cards, the WrestleMania ring cards. Got a bunch of mock figures, which I'm just too lazy to sell. We have the ring, the WCW Bash of the Beach ring that floats in water, which we used for that Royal Rumble. We have the subway station all back there. Got that boat as well that went with the Royal Rumble. So that was the wardrobe, but here, check this out. These are permanently parked here. This is a Logan Paul Ultimates and Cody Ultimates. I bought too many of them off Mattel Creations, and they're just permanently parked here because I'm too lazy to sell them. But that was the figure room tour of WSC for 2024. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Please smash the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.